Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match of Chalice Season 50. We've got two great named teams here, we've got Equity Shift, uh, Augmented Beards, Kislev versus Broski's High Elves, which also have a good name. I can't remember what the team name is, but it, it's trust me, it's good. Um, it's also a pretty good High Elf team, got a couple of Guarders, got a couple of move up catchers, got a Strength Up, Blitzer, Tackle. It would just needs a bit more, right? It could just like elves can always do with a bit more, I guess. But like they could really do with an edge guy. They could do a sidestep on these to help with a one turn. They obviously spring your feet they could have. So like they could get a lot more skills in the catchers. This guy could have mighty blow. They could have a lot more things going for them. Um the Kislev have got a really nice catcher. Guard, a couple of nice blitzers, especially Adjup is incredible, isn't it, for Kislev. Some blocks and wrestle a pile on there is pretty good. Um, inducements wise, while the high elves have got a the high elves have got a bribe because they've only got eleven players. Um, the kids have only got eleven. That's wild, isn't it? That's wild. I guess there's a lot of skills stacked up on these kids. Uh, should be interesting. I think Pylon Bear is totally fine. I think all big guys having Pylon is fine, um, despite despite uh, the esteemed Full Metal, who is, you know, one of the greatest coaches of all time. He said that it was the worst advice ever when I said that, uh, when I recommended Pylon uh, rather than grab on a uh, Beast of Nurgle. Uh, but, you know, it's true. Because pile on, you can pile on sometimes, right? Like, do do it sometimes. The great rule of blood ball. It's it's totally fine. The bear piling on to stop himself getting claw pond is completely viable. And just you know, in general, like you know, games where you've got a high roll, teams like elves were. You know, okay, maybe he can use his tail, but probably not, right? They'll probably just fuck off out of way, his way anyway. So, you know, it's totally fine to pile on. Do it sometimes. Like, it's only 20 TV, and like, what else? You know, like, Stand Firm isn't that good. I mean, Stand Firm is pretty decent. You know, yeah, Garden Stand Firm are like the usual big guy skills, aren't they? Classic bring in the assist for the uh, <laughs> the strength four guy. <laughs> the classic play. Oh, he's going to foul because he's got the bribe, of course. Doesn't want to make it too easy to advance, though. While getting this foul in. Using the kick player, very clever. Well, there's his bribe gone. It's funny, uh, talking to Eliod and Kalon last night, and we were talking about, you know, sneaky git making people play better. Bribe's one of those things that can make people play better as well, isn't it? Like, you know, okay, he got unlucky here and that he got he got spotted on the first one, but there's games where, like, somebody just, you know, keeps fouling and never gets caught, and they're only fouling because they've got the bribe, but it turns out to be a great... Uh, it turns out to be a great strategy because you just don't get caught and like people wouldn't have tried that strike if they didn't have the bribe to back it up but because they do have the bribe they end up making you know seven fouls in the first half and decimating the opposing team oh, i'm glad you enjoyed it steve could have gone on youtube couldn't it? i should have i should have it should have i should have just made it an impromptu podcast episode and then but i still haven't uploaded the first podcast but then when we didn't do the podcast the following week i thought i'll wait until who we lined up a podcast to do following it. I really like the idea of the podcast just chatting shit with people. <laughs> Means I'm not playing Blood Bowl, which is the best part of it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Gets an additional block. Lovely additional block there. Oh, wow, piling in ball pressure. That's not that lovely because the guard isn't there. The guard's over here. 
If this was guarded, this would have been great getting the extra hit. Getting the extra hit without guard isn't isn't that good, is it? Here you get the extra hit. He should have won deed there. I know it's a three plus, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I think he should have won deed. Maybe he's not. I guess I guess he's kind of tagging the guard, isn't he? So he's doing he's doing a job. Mostly he's just engaging to get everybody punched, which isn't isn't so fantastic, is it? But you know, works for some people. Works for some people that you see on the internet. Yeah, they base up all their players and give away a million blocks, and somehow somehow that works out for them. This is nice that the uh, catcher can leap here. Okay, that was a misplay. Um, <laughs> because he's got tackle, right? So he hasn't got dodge. So he should have done the leap so that at least if he fails the leap, he falls over in the middle of four tackle zones. Instead of if he dodges there, like, it's it's just it's a worse fairly state, isn't it? So that was strictly worse to not. I, I'm pretty sure that it was strictly worse to not leap there. He could, but then he would have been in contact with these guys as well, so he just wanted to fuck off out of the way. And it looks cooler, exactly, yeah. Hello, Thompson's hello, red hair. Hello, Addy Telly. And now you can do a little chain here, look. Really nice. Do you see the play, guys? I mean, not really, because it doesn't get him that much, but... Oh, it does! Oh, do you see the play, guys? Beautiful. Look at that. He didn't need to do that, did he? Does he Does he not realise that he's got strength 4 in this guy? Or, or does he have a strength down as well? No, he doesn't have a strength down. Twice he's assisted this. Like, he doesn't need to cancel this. I guess it, it like, oh, wow. It helps him, like, not catching the scatter, I guess. But I'd much rather have it. Uh, oh, wow. If I was going to do that, I'd want him here. Oh, my God. What was the dice roll? The catch was a five anyway. If you're going to move him, then you want him there to affect both of them, right? Or you wait until afterwards so that you've got somebody to react. But, yeah, that was a really nice chain, wasn't it? So, yeah, I guess he should have chained that strength four away. Um, so as to have not got him chained into the ball. That was, that was really cool. By Broski. Because uh, Space Cadet himself a bit, didn't he? Um, that was the only problem. In that he's got like a, he's got all these players jammed in here to do the chain. And there might be a breakaway on. But he's, it looks like he's got enough to stop any breakaway. Looks like he's still in a good... Still in a good spot, even despite this. Stun is incredible, isn't it? Wow, all on this leap has to work. Doesn't yet. Does work. Wow, huge 3+. plus. God, I hate I haven't rolled 3 pluses. Fucking Kislev. I, like, I could never play Kislev. Having to rely... Like, having to win and lose games by rolling 3 pluses is, like, fucking horrible. I don't think he's got any sexy chain pushes this turn, but he can get in front and he can just blitz the guys in front and stay in the way. Oh yeah, Eagle Fan Karate, that's his team, his team pretty cool. Yeah, I, I don't understand people enjoying Kislev, but you know. Twitch their own, eh? I don't enjoy Skaven, but like at least Skaven are really powerful. I guess they just like that they go for the ball whenever they want. Yeah. I'm like leaping around like loonies. Hey, look at Daedle back in the day when he used to play when he used to play 300 games a season with. Uh, with goblins. I think this guy maybe should have been back here or something. I don't know. Maybe this is good. Yeah, it's just some people just like that sort of thing, don't they? People like different things. It is what it is. <coughs> Sorry, I thought I'd mute. God. 
It's weird, sometimes it doesn't always mute when I try to mute. Well, he's not getting a hit on the ball this turn, is he? But he does get a hit. Knock down the further. The further, the closer threats, so he can keep things contained. There's not. There's only two turns left now for the Kislev. So he should be. Able, what he might want to do is is swap this catcher for this catcher. So he's got the wrestle catcher in the backfield. So whatever, like you know, because this is. His, oh God. Okay. No, he's not. He's going to do the opposite of that. He's just going to go for the ball. Well, I think this is a bit. This is a bit. I don't want to say mad, <laughs> but it's a bit mad. <laughs> because unless unless he gets the ball like exactly how he did, um, you know, he can lose the ball to the edge, and then there can be a breakaway on. I, I think I would have just tried to uh, keep it safe here. Yep, Chalice, SFL, and GG Tour. Like, I'll, I'll do, you know, Blitz Pits if there's any more Blitz Pits, stuff like that. Um, maybe, like, you know, team tournaments, like, uh, you know, who knows? Like, if there's if there's any if there's any things on, any tournaments and stuff I might do. Well, there you go. He, he caught that and died. <laughs> okay, at least the apple works. Yeah, see, and, and now, now he's just got it back on the edge five. He's still in a lot of trouble though because, you know, he's he's got edge three players that are all marked, and it is turn seven, so it's not it's like it's not easy for him. I wonder if it was worth. Yeah, probably not because you can't do these. Oof. Correct! It's here the other boy! Eight, four, five, six, seven, or eight. So this guy can run around and hit the ball pretty easily. One, two, three, four, five, six, double G if I had to hit with wrestling. So it doesn't look like he can deal with the scoring threat. Oh wow, he's just to he doesn't care about the scoring threat. I think he maybe he could have based the uh, blitzer and punched the uh, punched the other one first. Oh, no, the other one's not in range. So gets the power again. He's just powering the blodgers every single time. No, oh, you could do with the with a leap now. He's got to run all the way around. Of course he can't go through because of the... Uh... Well, I mean, he could have gone through this way. I guess he could have gone through this way, but he obviously can't go through there because of the diving tackle. And he hasn't marked this guy at all. So, this is relatively easy clears, and then edge five, pick up and pass. Oh wow, well he got lucky there, did Broski. Needs to tag this guy. Need to reduce the intercept. Mistake here. This guy could have tagged. This guy might be able to intercept now, yeah, I'm on a 5 plus. So there you go, big mistake, not tagging him. Did he roll a 5? I hope so. No, he rolled a six anyway. Well, you know, that was just bad. This this guy was face up, he could have tagged him. There was there was no excuse for that. Yeah, so okay, then Oscar be the day amazing. Well, wow. It was unlucky that he rolled a six, but it was really bad that he gave him a five or a six. Like, you know, you, you can't leave him at five for six. So that was... Maybe he ran out of time. Like, maybe he's just running out of time. And But it was an easy turn, wasn't it? It was really weird. Really weird to give him that five for six. So. Um, 
Yeah, because it's just replay for now. We'll be catching up to real time soon. But um, oh well, there you go. There's just no excuse for that. That like that was real, but that was really bad to to allow a five plus in the set. That was really bad. Didn't think enough. Fair enough. Yeah, that was a real bad mistake. So now looking really nice for Broski. Really nice. He hasn't taken any attrition. Still got the full 11 elves. And despite being down TV, I feel like his 11 players are better than the kids level 11. And he's 1 0 up. He could just bang it in quickly here because, you know, Kislev can always sack you. So why not just score early? Go 2 0 up and then should be alright. It's strictly on tonight. 720 is the results. Oh. Are pretty great, aren't they? Ha! <laughs> he should have gone like one away, right? Because this doesn't, this isn't so good against the leap. Like it's okay, but you'd rather want one back is better against like you know deeper, a deeper screen is better. Did he not blitz there? I'll, I'll be honest, I wasn't really paying attention. I was just looking at a fascinatingly ugly woman on the TV. <laughs> I turned on the TV to see to see if Strictly was on, and there was there was a woman on the TV, and I just couldn't believe how ugly she was, and I was just staring in amazement. <laughs> Glorious pile on bear makes a removal. Oh, God. Hello, oh, Ruby. <laughs> oh, wow, Steve. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> Flip me. <laughs> she'd have to be she'd have to be better than fucking Gordon Ramsay <laughs> and richer than Gordon Ramsay as well <laughs> oh god <laughs> There's not a screen here. This is a bit weird, isn't it? There's like, there's just not a screen. After like making this insane double screen that wasn't really like, there's a route through now. Is he just out of range? Yeah, he's out of range. The double skulls. And then these two are quite well positioned for this. It would have to be leap and dodge, but I mean, he should probably go for it because uh, it's not that good. Is it? No, but he could block, and then he could run and assist, and then he could leap, dodge, hit. It's probably not worth it. But then you, you probably. It's on the other hand, he's just going to lose otherwise. That's the problem, isn't it? Probably should have made this block. See if you got him down, and if he gets him down, you move this guy glorious. to the assist, and you no, leave dodge blitz with him, or, or him as well, whoever was here. Because if you don't blitz this guy this turn, he's going to lose. You know, he's just going to hand off Happy the score Happy sub day, turn. Jim. He's just, he's just literally going to hand off the score next turn, and then you 2-0 down and you've lost. So, 
you know, that's a bit problematic, isn't it? Thank you very much, Darkside451. Absolutely glorious thing. Fantastic for 11 months. Oh, yeah. And there's a beautiful Kaz. And now we have caught up and are live. Look at that, 221. So amazing. <laughs> oh, the hot, the hot crazy gradient. It, that's funny, the hot crazy thing. But it's, uh, it's not true, is it? It's 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 so weird. Like I don't know. Maybe 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 I'm different than those people, but I haven't found that to be uh, true at all. But um, she's definitely a zero on the hotness. This one. She was definitely a zero on the hotness. Um, that is. That is a. Uh, <laughs> I'm not hot and I'm crazy. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Zine just dodge blitz and then get through there on a two, right? He just dodge blitz him and then go through on a two. Okay, he's got tackle, but it's still fucking easy. I'd still go for it. I'd still go for the handoff, score this turn, and then then you just uh, then you just tune up. I think he's playing tabletop, isn't he? Uh, I've got a feeling he's playing tabletop today. Like, you know. I'm sure he told me yesterday, but it, it's like, you know, it's like a wall of text, isn't it? <laughs> when Kalon talks, <laughs> it's, there's an awful lot of noise for a long time. Oh, you don't even have to go through. You don't even have to go through tackle, because you can go this way. Kalon could talk for like 10 hours, and I wouldn't remember a word he'd said. <laughs> so yeah, he doesn't even have to go through. Yeah, so this, this is always going to happen. This is Augmented beard, like, should have identified this was going to happen. And he should have gone for like the shitty ball sack last turn. Because although it was shit. Wow. He's gone through. He's just literally gone the wrong way. He's literally gone the wrong way. Oh no, he's diving tackle. Oh. He was diving tackle so it wasn't literally the wrong way. Okay, I take it back. So. This would have been a 4 plus dodge, wouldn't it? This would have been a 75% dodge. I didn't, I didn't realise it was a blitzer. I just saw tackle and not tackle. So he did go the right way. So he just had to roll two two pluses and he failed. Diced. Um, but, you know, I think there was much more chance of Augmented Beard making the sack last turn than there was of him just hoping that Broski failed, you know, the two pluses. So there you go. And <laughs> to paint his toys. <laughs> he loves to call them toys, doesn't he? <laughs> Well, there's another one. The dice did really not want him to score. Let's wrestle down. I mean, there's still elves in the vicinity, so this is still pretty bad for Beard. Especially with this guy being stunned. It's pretty huge, isn't it? Uh, you've got to pick it up, bro. <laughs> like, you, have, you can't leave the ball on the ground versus elves. This guy had to pick it up. He has to pick it up in GFI. Hey, he's got no reroll, but your alternative is just losing the game. So, like, that's the thing, isn't it? It's it's weird because talking to Elliot the other day, you know, about how he's like, uh, how he plays very conservatively and waits for his opponent to make mistakes and stuff. Um, and, like,. That's kind of... You can hope that your opponent fails the dice, but... He's not going to make a mistake now, is he? You know, like, so you just have to, uh... You can't leave that, you can't leave, like, things on like this for your opponent. It's just too likely he makes it. Like, even complete, you know, even if he could, he, he could block and, and get people down, like, you know, he could block and he can make two two plus dodges to get the assist in. Just literally got to block for a push and then two two plus dodges and he's got 2D on the ball and then a pick up. Like, it's too likely. It's just too likely that he scores. 
Yeah, three two. It, com it was completely brainless to just roll a three two. Like even even you know even if he didn't do this, which is like pretty fucking easy to see. But even if he didn't see the most basic easy play, it's still just a three two. Like no matter what he did over here, it was he was never better than a three two. And a three two with a reroll is just too likely. There's no DT this time. <laughs> Just Linos. So he comes there and then he blitzes and picks up. Hello, Walcaho. Yes, but even if he had done, even if he had put, no matter what, he, that, what I'm saying is, no matter what he'd done here, no matter what he had done over here, you can't make it worse than a 3 2. That's what I'm saying. And a 3-2 is too easy, and obviously this is even easier than that. So he had to go for the pickup last turn. Oh my god. Though Broski's really rolling some horrible dice. It, do you know what, Paraville? It's probably like... He probably like is normally right. It's just he's probably because he's... You know, he could be tilted. But it's also like the element of... Like, you've just got to realise... You've got to realise how f how deep shit you're in fast enough, haven't you? That's the that's the thing. <laughs> and maybe maybe he just didn't maybe he didn't realise how deep the shit was that he was in. Um, you know, anyone can play a bad game, can't they? You know, the best player in the world could have a bad game. Not so much in chess, you know, but um, you know, like in 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 other things, and like none of us are good at anything, are we? Like, yeah, yeah, that was that was an equity shift and a half there. Like people people at Blood Bowl just aren't very good at Blood Bowl, are they? Like even the best people at Blood Bowl just aren't very good at Blood Bowl. And then uh, and then it's easy to just not play at the level as well. So. And just to be having a bad day, can't you? But yeah, that was that was really careless. Like you know, he might be kicking himself about missing the uh, missing the tag. But then he, he it was a six on the intercept anyway, so that should help him forgive himself. Uh, so he shouldn't be really kicking himself over that. Woody's wasn't it? I think. Kinroth got a very, very nice Dark Elf team, but can still lose to Woodies because Woodies are Woodies. But I wouldn't be surprised to see all the Woodies go out in the first round. Um, like, Ducky's got the best chance, obviously, versus like a completely destroyed human team. But, like, none of the teams look really amazing. Like, and Ducky's probably got the best looking team and the easiest match. So I guess I would be surprised if, if Ducky went out, but I, w I wouldn't be surprised if, if all of the others went out. He is, I mean, Mankas is a good coach, yeah. He is. But, you know, it's not like... Like, it's a, it's a that's just a good match, isn't it? It's just a good match. Kinroth versus Mankas is just a good match. It's like, it wouldn't be a surprise whoever wins. Isn't it? It's not going to be a surprise, but, you know, it wouldn't. I think Kinroth's probably got the better team. I, I really, I really like that Dark Elf team, to be honest. I probably like that the most out of all the agility teams. And then, like, the two... Funny that the two best bash teams got each other, wasn't it? I did like Stick's team name. Yeah, that was brilliant. This is nice, isn't he? Got the edge five completely out of range, and then he'll just he'll just lob it and score next turn, and then maybe he can get back the two two. Yeah, Dells are a weird one. Oh wow! Do you know what? I might have I might have not re-rolled that there. 
because if if like augmented beard is probably you know there's a good chance augmented beard scores here is what I would think, and then if he scores here, then I want two rerolls so that he doesn't get another one, and then if he does get another one, then I want rerolls for overtime. So I feel like I would have played this turn safer than Broski did, so that I didn't have to reroll double score. I oh know Dark Elves are pretty good, right? Dark Elves are pretty good. They're, they're consistent, aren't they? You know, they've got the Blitzers that are once. Uh, they've got six players. The Blitzers and the Witch Elves that are both one, squirt, one skill away from Blood, which is really good. But obviously, like, the heights that the other Elves can hit are higher. Because they can get nice. <laughs> and just right. movement is really good, isn't it? And like as the killing the scores up of like you know a claw pull and everything, then dark elves' greater durability isn't such a good pro anymore, and the higher base stats of the other elves are better, and TV's less of a concern and stuff. So this guy could uh. Get the edge he can hand off to him. Like he has to do it, he has to score this turn. So yep, he's done the right thing. He can lob it to him. Burnt the one, brilliant play. No six this time on the intercept. The Duble GFI. Oh. He gets the tuddy. So it's on. He might be able to make it 2 2, but I, d I, do I did like. Quick scoring against the uh, Kislev. Like, I know he <laughs> wasn't as quick as he tried, but I think it's the right strat. Just go 2 0 up and then. Because like, they're, they're a pin in the arse on defense, Kislev. Like, if he'd got turned over and been made 1 1, it would have been terrible, wouldn't it? So. But yeah, I really like not re rolling that. Well, playing that turn differently so that accepting the dub skulls would have been better, because now with one re roll. You know, now now you're facing with one reroll, you could lose the ball and draw two two and be in overtime with zero rerolls, which is a really really worst case scenario, isn't it? I don't give El I don't give Elves bludge to stand behind the guy without bludge. I do. <laughs> That's exactly how I play them. <laughs> My blood just stand behind the guy without blood, yeah. It's only got nine. Is this going to be a bit of a DACA? It looks like it could be. That's very risky against Kislev, isn't it? Riot. Both teams gain a turn. Oof, that's bad news for the uh, for the elves. But, you know, they should be able to score quickly again. They've got their catchers. They've got their fast catchers. And if they go 3-1 up, they've definitely won. Oh wow, glorious Kinroth. I shall cast that as well then. Good luck. Mm. 
Yeah, it's alright, the high old team. It, it's it's a shame that it's, like, not better. It's one of those teams where, you know, like, you look at it and you think, God, this team could have been amazing, you know? But again, you'd have had to play, like, another 20 games on it or 30 games on it, not have key players die. All that sort of stuff. And, you know, none of that stuff you want to have to do, but... Like, this could have been a really great team. The strength up guy could get, like, mighty blow and sidestep. One of the move guys could get another move or an edge. As he sidesteps, sprints your feet. Get a really good one turner. Edge somewhere on the team. Like, it, it's it's a really good base, only 11 players. Like, you know, if, if this came in, like, you know, if this looked like this. Could, and, like, this is the sort of team that could have looked like Nick's team from the other season. Uh, where he got them looking amazing at one point. School first skill. It looks like I'm finally going to lose in fantasy football. I'm 5% to win. <laughs> oh, God. Terrible week. My quarterback's got five points because <laughs> it's because it's not Mahomes. <laughs> Diced. This is, I don't know how much TV it is, not that many, probably about 18, maybe he's even 17. He was down, he got a bribe, he was down TV, so, 1750 maybe. It's only 11 players. Diamond tackle there. Diamond tackle there. No diamond tackle here. Tricky now, isn't it? Now he's down to eight players. It's uh, it gets tricky with the diamond tackles. This guy can get in range. Go get in the end zone. So maybe he just loves it to him. He's only got edge four. I guess he can hand off to him. He can dodge blitz him. He can hand off to him and he can lob it to him in the end zone. It's not great. Not doing that. Like it's really not great. That might be what he had to have done. Problem with the one day out is he's got wrestle, hasn't he? I guess if you if you handed off the line or there, any thrown from there is probably like a four plus pass, which is pretty terrible. So yeah, the gun for the three is kind of better.
I mean, you weren't taking the both down with block, but at least if you if you did do the both down with block, you would then still have the ball instead of losing the ball and turning over. Like at least make him knock you over to get the ball, you know. That's what you want to do, isn't it? Oh god. I <laughs> don't like this. Boy howdy. That was that was very risky and <laughs> he got punished in the worst possible way and now there's three turns for uh, Augment and he's out of re-rolls with that fateful uh, dub skull that he re-rolled earlier which I did try to tell him I didn't try to tell him because you know, you know like, as I alluded to in my commentary I wasn't trying to signal him to help him um, but yes I think he should have just kept the ball there was certainly a lot of things for just keeping the ball that turn, run back and try. It gets harder though, right? Because he's got the tail and he's got the two DTs that he's trying to put on you all the time. It might have been better to have just caged around the bear there and not, not risk the one on the activation. It was probably correct. Correct. Did this guy have tackle. I wonder if that was worth it, or if he could have just gone somewhere else with the ball, and then he could have he could have surfed this guy, couldn't he, on the one day? That might have been kind of nice. Really nice. Probably probably not worth it. Probably not the right thing. Can always dodge in in two D. Not terrible. Like this guy's got it, hasn't he? I know this diving tackle though, but he's probably not going to get better than this, like with having the guards on the same side. Evening, Jim. I concur, but you have to cancel both those wrestles on the other side. It's the only side to go in from, and to have any real chance of stopping him, I think this is the turn to do it. He'll get that cage better organised, ready for the next turn. Hello, PC. Hello. Only just back from the football, and I came on and thought, oh, well, it's over, I'll let Jim finish himself. But you do sound a bit tired, mate. So when it looked like it's now going to go to overtime, I thought, I'll sub in and see if he needs some reinforcements. Four. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's the second nicest thing you could do for me. <laughs> <laughs> I am still finishing my dinner, so I'll be here intermittently. But I thought, yeah, I'll drop oh. in and cheer you up. Thanks. I didn't mean anything sexual, of course. I meant, I meant you could drop out of chalice. <laughs> Don't worry, Jim. I'll make it very, very painful, but quite brief. <laughs> I said I didn't want to talk about any, anything sexual. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, we come back to the insanity of that past, don't we? <laughs> yeah, it was... It Which was... simply had to work. But yeah. from a from a winning position, that, I thought that was a bad plan. I know that they can come for you anywhere on the pitch. There's nowhere safe to turtle against Kislev, but there was definitely safer ways to to squirrel the ball somewhere that was harder for them. And plus, they shouldn't ever you should never give them the ball. They should at least have to take it off you. Yes, yeah, it was it was it was a weird one because like it it was tough and it, it gets tougher and tougher the more down men you are, aren't they, with the DTs yes. and the, and the yeah. tails and the stuff. But um. Yeah, I feel like he, he, there was there was a couple of easy, better things like just passing the catcher over there and wandering away to score was better than whatever that was. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, he did see a chance to really advance the ball and get it into a safe spot, but it was too risky for me, and, and so it proved. Mm. Now there's going to be so much on uh, where that overtime ball goes. And the high elves without even the fan factor, the fame plus one is on Augmented Beard's side, so they're, they're unlikely to win a reroll. Yeah. All very bleak for them. Wow, putting in the reroll there, that's interesting, isn't it? I wonder how essential mm. that was. 
I mean, there is that. Rodge piece. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, dodge. six, dodge. seven, eight. Three plus. three plus dodge over two two plus go for it's for a one for a two die. Oh, yeah, but if, it, but if he fails. Don't do it, but if he gets there. If he fails, as long as his armor breaks, he, he stops the square anyway, right? So even yeah. failing would have been almost certainly okay. Because then he would have had to have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he'd have had to do two three plus dodges. With yeah, that, that makes it trickier. So I, I think that might be an okay to just accept the fail. Um, because, you know, you have to win in overtime, so... Yeah, I'd certainly be liking to take those two into overtime. And while we say the elves are in a tough spot, of course, they are still elves. If they can put it onto any blodge piece, particularly a strength four, it's not easy to get it off it. No, they've been reluctant to carry on him, though. Again, they've been <laughs> generally opted for wrestle ball carrier rather than a strength four blodge. <laughs> but hey... It's always nice to give your opponent a shot. <laughs> it's so weird how people don't want to carry on strength four elves. Like, it's all I want to do when I get a strength yeah, four yeah, Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you, you try and stop yourself because you want the rest of the team to develop, but in the Chalice, no, just just win games. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Strength for Agility for Blodge is incredibly good without any vampire negatives. Mm. Unbelievable. I mean, this isn't, this isn't getting the job done, is it? I don't know no. what his play is. I, I'm guessing the super-fast catcher wrestler might be coming for it, but... Yeah. It's a Three. long way to go. 3, 4, 2D. Oh, but he's got guard. Oh, wow, okay. He's coming all around this way. I didn't even think of that one. I was thinking no, this one could have gone through 3, 3. Four. Yeah, I was looking at the route through. It's a lot of threes, though. Yeah, and he's because he hasn't got wrestle. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah. I was being a big dummy. I mean, the thing is, though, Shattered Eyes, I just like having my strength available to blitz holes through whilst holding the ball himself. <laughs> like, I, so I don't hate fine. blitzing with the ball carrier. Yeah, I don't hate it. Like, people are exaggerated. Like, if you've got a reroll, you're on, it's only 1 in 12, 9, 6 that you're losing the ball by, by blitzing the ball with your ball carrier. You know, like, it's not the end of the world, is it? Well, I mean, the, the slight complication here, I suppose, is there's a lot of rodge on the uh, field, isn't there? Yes. You might be blitzing rodge players, but... Even then, just put it on a strength four. It's it's a very very good piece to have the ball. Yeah. Every strength four elf I've met has chalice nerves. <laughs> the old chalice nerves. God, my whole team's gonna have chalice nerves whenever whenever we play. No, Jim, they're gonna have death. <laughs> chalice nerves. It's not my fault if I lose. <laughs> Pick your favourite one and don't put it on the field for the first try if that's my tip. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, well, it's interesting at least. The uh, elves have won the toss. Yeah, fascinating. Um, I'd still rather be the Kislev here, I think, but it's, it's not a done deal, is it? No. No, I think if the Kislev win the toss with a, with a, with a re-roll, they definitely win. Whereas now it's pretty close to 50-50 probably still, I guess. Yeah, particularly, as I said, with the High Elves so unlikely to win that, just one reroll would tip the balance hugely. It's not impossible, of course. Yeah. It's not unusual. <laughs> God. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. There you go. <laughs> no throw for the pass reroll, yeah, yeah. It's funny, he's rolled pretty terribly, uh, Broski, this game. He's rolled loads of ones, but um, he's mostly you got away with it. actually have to pass as elves. It isn't the law. Um, even though you get an SPP for it to try and tempt you into doing it, you can just hand the ball to people. Now, is it just me, or is there a bit of a gaping void here, Jimmy? There, there does look to be, yes. <laughs> is it a wrestle lineman? <laughs> um, yes. And I know he's got a friend somewhere near him, <laughs> but I don't. I don't think it's quite near enough. No, well, there's and a sure guard, enough, there's a guard here. Yes, to go. Uh, Broski is lining up directly to assault that little um, hole <laughs> and see if he can get it wider and then stream through. Oh, God. 
Jim, not everything is filthy. Some things are just words. <laughs> yeah, that you was... could use the strength four to uh, to widen that gap. <laughs> Doesn't have to waste his guard. That's and true, if it's yeah. not doing that, it should be carrying the ball. It has to be doing one of those two things. Or else yeah. Why the bloody hell have you got it? Well, it's because he's because he's wrestle. That's what I was thinking. I was thinking I would want to like you know blitz him with a wrestler. So then you're like. But then, but then he's got the kicker here rather than a wrestler. Like this yeah. wrestler should have been there to hit there. And now then... because of its plus move, it is in handoff range. This is a one in thirty-six. Ah, so now he's handed off to the move. So now he, he can yeah. get through with the uh, with yeah. the strength four. Yeah. Unless he's completely insane. No, no, no. He's not. He's not. He's got to do it now. Yeah, this was a big mistake. I might even be tempted to hit the blitzer and knock that over. Oh, Get its yeah. diving tackle on the ground. And of course it jumps up, but... And he does, does go for that one. It's a harder hit, and mm. doesn't get it. Oh, yeah, it's interesting, pain. isn't it? Because like, the one in nine there is really bad. This is the the one in nine there is really bad. But if it had been a power, what a lovely power to have got. What, mm. what are you doing that for? Yeah, he's blocking his path. He should have gone So now he's way. either got to dodge every piece, or he's got to do a go for it without a reroll. Yeah, he, he had to go in there, didn't he? And then he's occupying two best players. So he's got tackle. Yeah, I mean, two. I'd occupy the two, but if not, you certainly occupy the wrestler on the other side. But you yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. And not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was not good. So let's hope he finds a way out of this. I mean, I suppose you dodge past the wrestler off to the right. Yeah. yeah. But still, that, should, that didn't need to be a dodge. It's interesting, isn't it? And who's going up ahead of this ball then? Just this guy, isn't it? Mm. Don't know how. And then he can he can do Is a he four gonna two. Teleport because it's a <laughs> two 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 without any rerolls. Yeah. He doesn't have dodge, which is why not, uh, not closing, not leaving that gap open was just terrific. Uh, and he doesn't have short feet, so it's three naked twos to get where he really needs him. Yeah. Gotta go for it though, hasn't he? Yeah. What what's the option? You've committed to this line now, so it works or it doesn't work. Yeah. I, mean, I suppose could you do just one and go directly in front of the strength piece? Mm, that's what he's done. That's what he's done. I would have wanted two to there. Yeah, one more is so much stronger, but I just is he going to risk it? I think I would, because it's so much stronger to go one more. Yeah, one of the tackles, the rackle is the far away as far as possible. <laughs> yeah, at least if yeah. at least have like if you're going to do this, then have the wrestle tackle over there so that he'd be in the vicinity. Yeah. Yes, the wrestle tackle should definitely be in the middle, shouldn't it? Yeah, maybe it's just a mistake. Like maybe. Of course, this double geophyte hit with him, but then he has, he's only got blocked. Of course, he wanted his kicker central and his two blitzers and the uh, the very nice catcher. So that's a lot of pieces to line up centrally. So that's probably why that rackle piece was out, that wrestle rackle piece was out to the side. Mm, weird. Like, it's weird because you have to stop the two turn, don't you? That's that's the problem. Yeah. Like, it's elves. You yeah. have to stop the two turn. Like, that's the yeah. number one priority. Fuck protecting people and yeah. getting to use kick. You have to stop the two turn touchdown. And I'm still thinking there was a way of organising and getting the pieces where you wanted and still having some cover on the wings. Oh, so he's just got the leap for the wrestle hit now. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah, it's... Doesn't get the power. Yeah, that's the problem with using the leap for the reroll, isn't it? It was a 1 in 9, which is actually a 1 in 3, followed by 55%. Mm. Well, this is a problem. Isn't it? Now reroll wise, less we have to get a blitzer somehow in front of this ball. At the moment, it's just a three-three-two and gone. And there is dodge on all of them because the tackle is miles away. Yeah, see, I, I like going for this guy because first of all, it's a two-two pluses rather than a three-plus. 
Um, so mm. it's more likely to work, isn't it? And then if you yeah. if you if you don't power them, at least you've got diving tackle on the ball. Yeah, absolutely. But I guess now he gets to go there, which is which is a pretty good spot to be fair. Yeah. That is a really good spot. Yeah, that's that was the spot he had to be in. Which makes it very tricky. So now an entirely different plan needs to be enacted. Mm. And now he's got tackle and DT on this guy. Oh, yeah. Like, like, well, I was him. about to suggest a plan that was handing off to that strength for who should have had it in the first place. Um, <laughs> and now, of course, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh, dear. This is bleak, isn't it? It's pretty bleak, yeah. Well, I guess you could. Man, well, you can't hand off to him now, and it's pretty hard, isn't it? But you could, you could still do the blitz. You could still like, you could one D him on a three, and then yeah, you that's two D blitz and dodge away. Like that's. I was terrible. looking at. I mean, actually, if you pull up a piece from behind, yeah, here we go. So, what I wanted to do is blitz the piece two back from the ball. And then put the assist in for the kicker. And then that creates a route out and diagonally through. Alright, yeah. One, two, the, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, GFI. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty good. He's one forwards from here, I think, to create the diagonal after this hit. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he's in his own way. No, he hasn't gone. So he's made it the slightly slower route past the tackle. See, I'd have done the dodge, the one in nine, to go one step further forwards, Jim. No, this is fine, isn't it? He, he, he gets to go one, two, three, four, five, like that. There we go. I see, yes. Okay. Happy days. No, that's good. <laughs> yeah. Who gets that? Easy. Who needs re-rolls? <laughs> wow. And that's better than my plan. My plan was to do a one in nine to avoid all dodges, and instead he decided two dodges at one in 36 was fine. Mm. Which it is. Yeah, very nice. Really nice. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Wow, wow, what a what a result! That was that was a good game. I thought lots of lots of interesting things happened. Obviously, the two nil from behind comeback was pretty cool, wasn't it? So, pretty nice match. Who, who was two nil up? I mean, I like I sat down like a minute before I came on. Ah, uh, Eagle Fan Karate was with two nil up, uh, and then uh, okay. Equity Shift came back. And then nearly came back to to win it, didn't they? Very, very yeah, cool. I mean, I, certainly going into overtime, we we favoured them. Mm. So there you go. Mm. Um, thank you very much for coming on and joining us for the for the Pleasure. last bit. Very nice. And uh, what a cracking end to the game. Yeah, great stuff. Commiserations, augmented beard. Congratulations, Broski. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>